Exercise number seven in our nine exercise progression for fixing a chest cave looks a lot like exercise number six, the split squat with the opposite reach. We've already restored mobility with our hip tucking. We've turned the hamstrings on with our glute bridging, with our wall squatting. We've trained some squat patterns with our backwards bear crawl. And we've even done some unilateral stuff, some one-legged, one-sided stuff to learn how to load a hip. But now what I want to do is I want to increase the complexity of this. I want it to be more dynamic. So we're going to have you do a walking lunge with an outside heel tap. I'm going to try not to run into anything here. So it's the same idea, right? I step forward and I reach across. My foot stays flat, tap my heel, and I look forward just like this. When I come up, I come all the way up. I don't come just here and then come back down into the next one. And what this does is as I'm standing, my potential energy is really high and I turn that into kinetic energy that I need to dissipate. And so I use this gravity to load myself. And you've got to be able to oppose gravity and you can use this stuff to teach yourself how to stay controlled now. So if this was really a really controlled scenario where I'm split squatting, my feet don't move, I just keep bending, right? Now I can take this lunge and add something to it. So this just increases the difficulty of these nine exercises. You don't always have to do all nine of them. This is a really good scenario where maybe we do the uh, exercise number six, the split squat first for maybe two weeks. And then after that, you could progress to the walking lunge. I'm not saying you can't do both. I'm just saying uh, sometimes you don't need to do both, but feel free to try them both and see if they're working. Try them individually, see if they work that way. If they don't, if the lunge doesn't work, if you don't do it, right after doing the split squat, then maybe it's not the right one for you. Maybe you need to stay with the split squat or maybe you need to do both because maybe you just, you need to tie that link together of this is an exercise versus this is a walking movement with my lunge. Hopefully that helps. Try this out. I love this exercise, especially for pretty much any warm up because it's dynamic in that you're moving. It gets you moving around, challenging your mobility, and you can load your legs a little bit, get your temperature warmed up, get your heart rate elevated, get your breathing rate elevated, and get you ready for a good workout.